Ouch! A room in the house comes to find there's nothing but a full moon, and the crater of its darkness pushes me to a new day. I'm sweet to it. I am the treat of my own life, the lovely whipped cream on some sort of image I cannot forget. I am the best bet taken before the equal signs wake me up and demand I do something with my life. Ouch! Babes, I'm interrogated by this IV that finds the vein in me that worships a sense of linguistic release. I am the thief of my own soul. I rock, but I do not roll. <laughs> Sweet, I must say, for Philip, love him. Beastly, I found this tame sense, this resounding sense of balance in the symphony of the words he threw at me, but kindly so. Deep at one time in his life, he was surrounded by a hulk of steel. Came to be the feel linguistically of that would find his history on pages turning slowly before someone could count them out. Philip came up for air. <laughs> nice, I said, to share this thing, put on my tap shoes. One wing wise would make an easy staccato sense of poetry, pushing me towards some light, some opportunity, batteries included. I did not want darkness of that thing we would share. I wanted to be bare-chested wise, the movies on his arms and his chest threatened me. <laughs> How, I said, could one pull this pin, this hand grenade of light that would find in an explosion of wings that do not want the sky, that live liberally and flutter about flirtatiously before you close your eyes to dream, and all you needed was just a little bit of belief. And when you get there, everyone else has to step aside. Oh, babies, it's wonderful when you know the poetry of your mistakes. It's even more so to know the ache of it comes along when the sharper of your song lets you go free. And the mountain you climb is who you were meant to be. I love you, Philip. secrets I will take with me to the casket of my relief at once when I turn eagerly to find the full moon I know he'll be there touching my shoulder asking me to dance. Good night.